Hey kids, it's time for another episode of Kitty Cat Gaming with your host, Mortimer! KKG! KKG! Yay! Hey YouTube, it's Mortimer and welcome back to another exciting episode of Kitty Cat Gaming. Today we're going to be decorating this room for Muffy. And uh, she has a couple items that she wants us to use in our decorating that insanely ornate bed. This lampshade and this outfit. All right, so let's rotate the bed, put it here. Uh, let's see what walls and stuff we can decorate with. Whoa, ooh, I don't know if that's what she wants. It's fancy, oh, she wants the, see it kind of tells you what they want because it's like the new stuff in the store, you know? It doesn't feel good. There we go. And full furniture. She's got the bed already. Uh, ooh, nice Rococo table. Let's put that over here. I always seem to put the bed on the left and then just like a seating area on the right, huh? Yeah. Chairs. Ooh, this chair's nice. A nice sitting chair for her nice cute Rococo room. Let's put it by the window. Is there any couches? Yes. Dude, she's loving it. We need a side table. This is a side table or just a desk? Ooh, it's a desk. Ah, uh, let's see. We can... mm, yes, we can't make it work. Okay, so let's put this on here. Cute. All right, and then let's put that over here. And... Ooh, this cute little vanity table. Put that there. Ooh, gramophone. Heck yeah! What room would be complete without a phonograph? Uh... And what else? Too bad you can't put flowers in the rooms either. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, at least we need a chair for that vanity. Another one of these chairs. And a rug. Right? Uh. Mm, actually, no, nah, I don't like any of those rugs for this room. Ooh. Candle sconces. Maybe on the other side, either side of that uh, window. I can't. I can't. I can't put it there. Okay. Well, brick. All right. Well, let's put it on the other side of the door. How's that? Yeah. How you like that, Muffy? That is a that is one sweet styling room. All right, let's see what she has to say. Yeah, I'm all done. You know it. Sweet dude, I can't wait to check it all out. Oh, the sheep in this game are so cute. I am a sucker for sheep. I love sheep. I don't know where it came from, but I just love sheep. A muffy, an ornately decorated room. Ah, yes, there she is, styling, absorbing the glow from the windows in her window-filled room as the autumn colors represent the changing of the seasons. Muffy enjoys listening to music on her gramophone and playing with her, uh, what is that called? <laughs> the, ah, uh, what is that? Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about, that instrument she's playing with right now. Oh, she's, she's dancing with it. Uh, tambourine, that's what it is. She loves dancing with her tambourine. Watch as she gracefully dances and bump the room, enjoying the new decor. This could be you. Be sure to stop by Happy Home Designers today to get your decorating on. Man, that bed is fancy. I would love to have that bed. I would love to have this room. But I also have seen all of this furniture already in Animal Crossing before. I was expecting to see some new pieces. Maybe that comes later. 
Wow, dude, you're pretty amazing at this whole house designing thing. This should be, like, your job. Oh, thanks, Muffy. No biggie. I learned a new emotion of surprise. All right, well, I'm glad she was pleased with our work. I'm back, yo. What you got for me? Aw, yeah. Alright, well, let's see if I can do this thing. It said... Continue playing instead. No, I'll keep working. Alright, let's see what happens. Uh... Can we go outside and snag a new customer? No? Well, what can we do here? Robofrog! I've had Robot in my town before. Can we start decorating the town at some point? Oh. I can't read the signs. Oh, the town is cute, but yeah, it's really tiny. It's all boarded up. That's kind of sad. Why? I guess I just live at the office, huh? All right. Yes. Back to work. I gotta go write my. I guess you gotta write the report to end the day. That that kind of sucks. Cause like, what if you just don't want to waste five minutes saving every couple minutes? Ugh. <sighs> All right, well, Nook's gonna be here today, so I... Oh, Isabella's here! We're gonna decorate for Isabel? <sighs> Greetings, Mortimer. With your arrival, that means everyone is here. Yes, yes. This is Isabella from Town Hall. She is supporting our company's new town development procedures. Isabel, this is our newest employee, Mortimer. While she is relatively new to the design game, she will not disappoint you. No, no. Pleased to meet you, Mortimer. I'm Isabel. Lottie, Mr. Nook, and my brother Digby have told me so many great things about you. Truth be told, while I'm listed as your support on these projects, I'll probably need your support more. Anyway, since your town hall has opened funds for a new facility, I wanted to let Nook Holmes know. Whoa, so we can't decorate the town. Aw, dip. Ah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can I can come in in the mornings. I mean, I live here. It's not a big deal. Just come downstairs. What? He's going home for the day. He just got here. All right. Whatever, Nook. Think you're so important. Look at him skipping out. All right. Well, I guess I should go outside and jump a new business, huh? We're running this business ourselves. Why don't we just open our own business, Lottie? Just you and me. All right. All right, Lottie. You got it. Anything for you, my cute little pink otter. She's sweet. <laughs> All right. Let's do Ribot Robo House. Yeah. It looks like you're spinning. Doty. Man, he might still be in my town. Too bad it doesn't import people from your town into this game. A house has a lot about a guy. I can't wait to see you beef it up a bit, Toadie. Yo, I gave you some stuff to work with, Mortimer. Make sure to use it, lady bro. Robo house. All right. So we got robo TV, robo bed, robo light. All right. Let's spice it up. We're putting the bed on this side of the room. 
Robo TV and the light next to the TV and uh, for the walls and floor. Mm, both of these are good. I like that one. Not too busy. And for the floor, Robo floor. It's too easy, man. Uh oh, ro oh, we already got the Robo bed. We don't need two Robo beds. Sorry, I didn't mean to get your hopes all up like that. Uh, okay, so. Robo table. Let's put that in front of the TV so you can eat and watch TV. And we need a chair. Robo chair. Well, robo couch. We'll put that here. Is that too far away? Ah, that's good. And... Oh! Robo wardrobe! <laughs> robo everything! Oh! Alright. Uh, what else we got? Uh, robo dresser. This is too easy. Just collecting furniture sets of a certain style. Oh wait, we already have that. Oops. Sorry. Ooh! Did you not like that? Sorry, dude. Maybe you like this instead? Alright, can you put that on the table? Oh, you can't put it on the table? Really? Alright. Oops. There we go. Uh... Whoa, I didn't see this section for- Oh, you can put flowers in the house. That's nice. Uh... I don't know if robots have flowers in their rooms, huh? Breakfast foods either. Hmm. None of these things seem very robot-y. Ooh, doll. Oh, that cute chair. He's a frog. You would think I could put that in there. What is that? Oh, it's a lamp, I guess? Got some art. I don't know if he's an art. Oh, <laughs> Put a picture of himself in his room. Okay. Oh, he loves it. Right on that table. Look at himself while he's watching TV. Uh, oh, Robo clock. Uh, oh, we can put a clothing set in here for him too. Hmm. None of these scream robot to me. Ooh, that Tron KK Slider picture. Oh, it's it's music. Sweet. Right? I mean, I guess it is an art print. Maybe it's a CD, but it's also displayed on the wall, I guess. It's a Tron shirt. Oh, it displays it on the wall. Oh, that's cute. So you can hang up your favorite clothes on the wall. That is cute. Oops. Yeah! Hanging up his favorite shirts around his bed. And no new rugs, huh? That's weird. Alright, well, what do you think of your masterpiece there, Toadie? So, you done? Sure thing, brah. Really? Well, okay, then let's take a look around. And here we go, our favorite part of the game. The slow-mo takeover of the room. Ribot, a robo-house. <clears throat> Lance around this $4.5 million condo high in the skyscrapers of Manhattan, inhabited by Ribot, New York's most fashionable socialite robot frog. Here he is enjoying a day nap on his day bed. Ah, reminiscing of good times by staring at a photo of himself on his own table. He also enjoys dancing to swanky tunes by such famous DJs as KK Slider in his free time. Wow, that's a new move I'd like to learn from him. If only I had the time. He also enjoys playing very interesting uh, musical instruments such as maracas, the triangle, and 
the symbols. Now those take skill. Oh, we didn't take any pictures. I forgot to take a picture. Oh well. He apparently seems to enjoy the room. Everything's looking good, thanks. You're pretty good at this stuff, but don't skimp on the exercise just because you're done here. What? Don't skimp on the exercise? Sighing. So nobody pays us. So... I'm confused at how this game is supposed to last. Welcome back, Tiger. You did a great job out there today. Remember what the big boss said? What boss said? Isabel coming by tomorrow to talk to you about building that facility. I've got a good feeling about that one, I tell you. You should rest up in preparation for the big day. Alright. Well, I guess we can just put in our, our code for the day. Our, uh... Our daily log. Would you sit down? Thank you. All right, well, next time on another episode of Kitty Cat Gaming, we're going to meet up with Isabel and see what's so important that we have to be at the office so bright and early. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss it. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everybody.